Um, back the fuck. Okay. This is not a good day for me. Like, at all. What is generally going on? Hi, guys. It's Catalina, and welcome back, 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 back to my channel. I know it has been, like, forever since I've posted a video. Um, I don't really have an excuse. I just like, I can't even remember what the last video I was posted. I've filmed sometimes after that and I just never got to uploading them. But here we are now and I'm committed to filming this, editing it, and uploading it. And I've been out of the game recently. My laptop is kind of broken-ish so I'm going tomorrow to get it fixed so that editing will be a lot easier too. But in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a updated kind of like natural glam makeup routine, everyday makeup routine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. These are not my good ones, but we'll use these today. Okay, so I don't actually wear, let me get my beauty blender wet. So when I do my everyday makeup, I don't like doing foundation um because it just does isn't for me so i just do concealer every day i use the kosas concealer this is in 6.5 and i know kosas had like this like whole shabille that happened that was like oh their stuff is poisonous exactly what that was about but i like it it's the only concealer that's creamy enough for me um so i just put it on like where i get red which is my cheeks and then around my nose and then i do a little bit on my chin so this is where I place the concealer. I know I'm like, I don't play, wear any foundation every day, but I put concealer everywhere. <laughs> so I let that kind of sit because I don't know, the people on TikTok say to do that. Then I normally use the Refi Beauty eyebrow gel. It leaves a little bit of a white residue. So that's why I don't, I'm not obsessed with it, but it really locks in my brows. So I just let that sit. Okay. And then I go in with my beauty blender and I blend in the concealer. Um, also today I got my first session of laser done and it didn't hurt that bad. I honestly thought it was going to hurt worse. The one thing I will say about we're Brazilian and it, it rips off and it hurts, but it's quick versus the laser. It feels like just a bunch of like, you're getting a tattoo done really, really fast. So it's like, it's, it's hot though. I didn't know, like, I don't know, I guess cause it's burning your skin. But I'm super excited and I'm so excited to, to be able to like not have to shave. I use that. Then I go in with the Patrick Ta Cream Contour. Use the cream one first. And I put that just on my forehead, my cheekbones, and then jawline. And I move it down to my neck. I've made a pretty big dent in that though. Okay. Then... After I'm done with that, I then go in with the powder bronzer and I take that with a different brush and I just go over that cream bronzer and I do it a little bit more messier. And I go just all over. Okay, then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless finish, whatever matte stuff. And I put this, use a brush and I put it under my eyes and just pat it in. It's good. I mean, it's kind of expensive though. I think this was like almost 40 bucks because like the really small one's $25 and it's really like that big. But, I mean, it's fine. It's not like, I don't think anybody needs to die to get this, like run to your Sephora now and get it. No, it's nothing. It's nothing that like is super, super special. And I go in with blush. Um, if I'm doing a more natural look, I don't do cream blush. I just do powder. This is the Sephora collection and this is colorful blush flirt it up. I normally just use this over my cream blush just to like set it because that's all I got it for but I use it for every day because it's not bad. It's not like super pigmented which is actually I know people like like super pigmented but I don't mind that because um, it's my everyday blush so I don't want like heavy blush. That's what it ends up looking like. I keep looking here. I need to look right at you. So then after I'm done with that, I go in to fill my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia brow pen. I've used every single one of Anastasia's 
brow products. This is my new fave right now. So I go in and just make, just go in on my sparse areas and I'll blend it out. And then the end a little bit. Not too much though, cause then I look weird. And then also I have my two birthmarks and then a little one above that one, but it gets covered kind of with makeup. So I just go over it again, just very lightly, see? Then mascara. I only of course do bottom mascara because I have my lashes done. YSL sent me this mini mascara. So I really just use any mascara. Now moving on to, oh. Then setting spray. Today I tried to get the one size setting spray. They y'all sold that bitch out. So normally I use the airbrush Charlotte Tilbury. I just don't like the smell of it, but it's fine. Um, but I will really let you know with the one size, whatever it's called. And I just use that. Next on to lips. I always keep my lip products in my purse. Because, yeah, like, when I need it to reapply, it's just already in here. Okay, so my everyday lip products. This is what I use to go out. This has been... I'm normally a dark lip girl, but lately I've tried nude, and this combination I came up with, it eats, okay? Anyways, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills... Uh, lip liner and I use this in the color cool brown I need a sh so let me do that really quick okay so I go in and I outline my lips obviously with that and I don't overline but I go like as far up as I can so yeah I guess overlining but that's how it turns out with the lip liner then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury this is a nude lipstick in Cover stop, cover star, cover star. And I go in in the middle. So there it is, not blended out. Then I go in with the Buxom lip gloss in full on, or I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not the name, in white Russian sparkle. And I take this and I just put gloss over. Look how pretty that turns out. It's really the perfect lip combination. I love dark lips, but lately I've been liking this a lot and I've gotten so many compliments on it, so I'm gonna just continue to do it. But anyways, that is the full makeup routine, everyday soft, natural glam. And as you can see, it's not a very like intense routine. You can do it in under 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be posting consistently again. This is the finished look. Let me do a thumbnail. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.